Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Strictly for the opera, you know this. <laughs> now, I know y'all been watching college football. Everybody is good. Strictly, yo bum behind taters came back because Saban let up, bruh. Stop the cap, bro. Yo illegal, yo illegal activity of teams that the, the legal players y'all pull in allegedly. But I'm a, I'm gonna get on Florida later. I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna air your team out strictly because you keep popping off at the mouth. I tried to save you, but no, I'm finna go in on you. You guys really shouldn't even have three national titles. Y'all should only have two. The one y'all beat us in the 90s, Warwick Dunn got hurt. But don't worry, I'm going to come and get you. Because I'm going to air your Florida team out. I'm going to air you out. And Q Lee, I got respect for you, my brother. You a, Florida, you a true Florida Gator fan. You not a delusionist like this guy is. And plus, let me ask you this, um, Strictly. Who won the last, out of all the Florida teams, who won the last national title? Who was in the national title? It was us. So what is you talking about? We just got garbage recently because Jimbo left. They didn't want to pay Jimbo. No, they didn't want to pay Jimbo the money. That's why he left. So stop it, dog. Because when we had Jimbo, we was giving y'all the business. <laughs> you trying to act like y'all was just dominating us? Y'all never really dominate us like that. So I'll get to you. I'm gonna get to you. Because you've been popping off way too much with this fireball stuff. And don't you ever compare my team to LeBron's. Ever in your mother-loving life do that. My team is nothing like LeBron's. And then wide left, yes, we've had guys to kick it wide left. But the whole game, we were kicking Miami's butt all the time. That's where the wild left come from is the Miami games. Not against y'all. We used to play you guys very good. But let me ask you this. Why you guys don't play Miami every year, man? Y'all don't want y'all don't want to claim the throne of King of Florida. Y'all don't. And this ain't a shot at you, Q Lee. I'm tired of this fair weather fan talking. I gotta shut him up real quick. Now, back to what I was talking about, story-wise. Um, shout out to one of my subscribers sending me some information. Basically talking about the Brownies Jankles basically sent the subliminal shot to, ben, to no Jay Simmons. Now, he basically said these guys spent all summer practicing their game I mean, practicing their game not to use it. Am I missing something? And this was a direct shot to no Jay Simmons. Now, what I found out is that they are rich. Paul and them are very pissed at him. And all this is allegedly, all this allegedly, that they're very pissed off at him because he's the reason the trade botched between them and Minnesota. Minnesota was going to trade for him. But he messed it up. He botched it. So. All I can say is this. This is what happens. Okay. This is what happens. When you have a big head but you don't have anything to back it up. You don't have the game. This is what happened when you let arrogance take you over and you feel like you this and that. Nobody wants them. And the people who do want them, they don't like his attitude. They don't like how he approaches the game. When he showed those cars, bragging about the cars he got, that made him look bad. People don't like that. That means the people are saying, oh, well, you're just in it for the money, so. A contender might want you. Now they don't want you after you did that crap. 
So I can see why LeBron these and them are upset because Minnesota probably they probably were like this the best deal they could get for him. But he talking about he gonna sit out. Philly said we gonna find you. We gonna find you for the. We gonna find you every game. <laughs> and that's good. They need to do that. They need to put pressure on that boy because he hasn't lived up to the contract they gave him. They gave him a contract and he was supposed to honor it by improving his game. This motherfucker scared to shoot a damn shot. That's why his bitch got taken from him. It's a travesty. So, am I surprised at it? No, I'm not. Because we know that no J ain't going to do nothing. And we told you this. I said after the first year, I said, that's all fine and dandy now. But when they take that away from you, what else do you got? And he showed you. Without Anthony, a.k.a. Cottonell Davis, the man Bron choked. He, he couldn't do it. He was done. So that's crazy, but um, but um, yeah, just wanted to keep you guys updated. So, I'm going to do a live tonight. We're going to talk about if power has lived up to the height. Has it lived up to the height? And we're also going to talk about what if. We're going to rank the order of the what if episodes tonight. From best to worst. Or I might do it worse. Well, yeah, I do it probably worse than best. But we'll see. I'll let y'all know. Just give me a few minutes, you know, to get situated. But no Jay Simmons. Nobody wants him because he can't shoot. What they should have done was never give him that contract. Everybody told Philly, do not give him that contract. They should have gave the contract to Jimmy Butler and they should have let Ben Simmons go. They should have let him go. Because he's not going to shoot the ball. He's going to continue to do what he does. So, that's the thing you got to look at. Things happen like that, man, but it's going to be hard to shop him. The guy can't shoot. Everybody talking about, well, he plays defense and do other things. Okay, I'm not paying you no money to be a specialist. I'm paying you all that money to take games over and help us win. Help us win the game. If you see your guy, Joel, missing shots down the stretch, it's time for you to step up and do your thing. But this boy is so damn scared, it's like, damn, it's like he pissed himself. <laughs> the boy pissed himself. So you guys have got to wake up and smell the Folgers. You guys have to. Especially the masses. Philadelphia don't want nothing to do with them. Philly hate them. So, you know, I 
That's how it is, man. That is how it is. Now, somebody asked this question in a group of mine. What makes Shaq so dominant? Why is he dominant? And I said, Shaq really, Shaq wasn't dominant. They allowed Shaq the offensive foul everybody, so that's why he was able to look so dominant. Because he was because he was bigger than, than everybody damn near. Everyone was short. So that's what I'm saying. Shaq never was dominant. Shaq, the thing about Shaq is, Shaq is the most one of the most athletic guys we've ever seen at that size. He's, he's one of the best, like in the pose, he pack, he'll back you down, hook shot, do all type of stuff. But to me. Because to me, Shaq, the thing with Shaq was Shaq was very weak for his size. The Phoenix Sun coach said they were surprised at how small his core was, which means he didn't have a strong core. He didn't practice on it. That's just how it is. Shaq thing is this. Shaq was the only center around. He was the only center. Everybody was out the league. And when Yao Ming came, that, that was his competition. Yao Ming was giving him the business. <laughs> Yao Ming was doing his thing. So... So you know that's just that's just all facts, man. You gotta look at the whole situation. Shaq was great as far as scoring. He was a great scorer because he he was bigger than everybody. He could get easy buckets. You know. So. So I don't believe. He was Shaq thing is Shaq got jealous of the guards because they would handle the ball they would bring the ball up Shaq did not Shaq would be pissed at that that's the thing like Shaq wanted the ball all the time you know the team he took um Shout out to everybody for supporting the videos. I'll be home soon. Um, we're going to do a stream yard tonight. Um, so, you know. so, but Shaq never was a dominant guy, man. He he didn't have no finesse to his game. All he could do is run you over and dunk. That's it. And when that was nullified, he really wasn't a strong rebounder. Kobe used to out-rebound him. So that's what I'm saying. Shaq would get probably like 10, 11 assists on occasion. You know, because it's different between playing. It's a difference when you're playing in an era that had killers in it. He survived it, you know that. That was good. That was that was good. But 
Yeah, Shaq, Nathan, Nathan. Shaq was not dominant like that. They pushed him to be dominant because he had a personality. Shaq is the very fun-loving Shaq. Kids loved him. The wives loved him. The husbands loved him. Everybody loved Shaq. But the thing about Shaq is Shaq is very, um, wish is very, um, Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Let me keep my eyes on the road. Thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash app me at the word welcome, the number two, and then HDIITV. And Shaq was not the most dominant man. Don't let... Don't let anybody tell you otherwise that he wasn't good. So, like I said. Yeah. So, you know. If you want to donate to the page, you cash out me at the word welcome. The number two in an HDI TV. Thank you all for listening. We out. Deezy.